In today's Money Monday segment, how to get, get ahead, not by cutting spending, but by earning more money instead. Financial advisor Rob Wilson is here with his top five ways to do that in today's economy. So you're going to tell me how to make more money? That's right. If, okay. if you're really serious about it and you want to do it, I have some ways for you. Okay, so first up, you say participate in, in the sharing economy. Look, I, I love this because this is something, if you want to make more money, you don't need anyone else's permission. You can just make a decision and then go do it. The easiest way is, hey, go start driving for Uber or Lyft. If you're really in a pinch and you want to start bringing in some extra money, I love this. Nobody can tell you you can't do it. You go sign up, you get your car, you start rolling. Now, you're going to have to jump on this because if you've seen these self-driving cars all around downtown, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to be an option. But for now, you want to make some more money, go ahead and do that. But you can do other things as well. You can rent out your home or your apartment on Airbnb. That's fantastic. Uh, you can care for children or er uh, elderly folks on care.com. You can even babysit someone's pets on a site called dogvacay.com. So there are all of these options where you don't need anyone's permission and you can go start making more money really tomorrow. I know there's even a website where you can sign up to walk people's dogs during the day. So there really is something for everyone. Absolutely. And there's a gentleman in New York who makes more than a hundred thousand dollars just walking people's dogs. How about that for wow. a career? <laughs> that has to be a full-time job in itself. Um, the other thing you say is you can sell products on Amazon and eBay and some of these other great sites. Absolutely. So I'm not necessarily the crafty type, but if you are, there's tremendous uh, outlets for you to sell these products. eBay is fantastic. Etsy is a really good mm -hmm. site for folks who are crafty. And you can even start selling some of your products on Amazon, which is the largest e-commerce site in the world. So you can have your products right next to all of the other stuff that you buy with those boxes you know, coming, coming to your home. But look, even if you're not crafty, you can buy some white label products from, you may have heard of Alibaba, mm -hmm. which is a Chinese based site. You can buy some generic products there, import them into the United States, slap your own label on it and create your own business and put them on those sites as well. So you don't necessarily have to be crafty or handy. Go find a cool product there bring it over, sell it online. You just have to outsmart the next guy, <laughs> exactly. sounds like. Get to it before they do. <laughs> um, I, I've never heard of this, but you can also become a virtual assistant. What do you do if you're a virtual assistant? So this is huge. So a lot of people are thinking exactly like this. They're saying, hey, I need to start my own business. I need to be in control of my own financial well-being. So people are starting their own companies or they're working from home. Uh, WeWork, a company called WeWork has actually catered to these people by creating uh, office spaces where you can just go rent a desk or you can just have an office inside of a larger building and they've got more than a hundred thousand members so there are a wow. lot of people starting their own business but you know what they can't do it by themselves they need help they don't necessarily have money to bring on a staff member or a secretary or something like that so if you're a virtual assistant you can work for a number of these entrepreneurs helping them with emails or filing or with their website or any sort of thing like that that they can't do all on their own and you can make a nice income from this because they value your skills because they just don't have enough time in a day to do everything that they need to do. Wow, and what is this fancyhands.com? So one way that you can start helping other entrepreneurs is that this is a site where you can start doing small chores. Maybe an entrepreneur needs you to go and pick up their dry cleaning or deliver a contract to someone. So you don't have to start huge. You can start doing very small tasks and then build your business up over time. Another thing you say is to teach. If you have a skill, this is something easy. This is huge. I think that most people have some sort of skill that you're just so good at, you don't realize it, but other people would pay to learn that. Now, maybe it's learning an instrument. It could be photography, or maybe it's coding and building websites. But if there's something that you know that you enjoy doing that you're really, really solid at, I think there is a lot of opportunity for you to go out and teach or consult or create a course, an online class. Uh, there's a website called Unity where you can create your own online course and you can sell that to people who are looking to learn what it is that you have to offer. Well, and I think there's also an added benefit there because a lot of people actually find fulfillment in teaching as well. Absolutely. So, okay, so you also say to start an expert business. Yeah, so, so similar to what we were just talking about, if you want a tutor, you can go onto these websites, which are marketplaces, and you can create uh, courses and sell them there. But I think it's never been a better time in the history of this planet to just create your own business where you become an author, a speaker, a coach, a consultant. Because look, all, we have all of these free tools that are available for us to reach people who could potentially uh, be your customers. So right. Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter, a lot of these things are free or very low cost if you advertise. And the tools that you need to actually build the business, create a course, write your book. I mean, you can write a book right now 
and again, put it up on Amazon so that your book is right next to all of the popular books that you've ever heard of. There's never been a better time for you to take what you know and make money from it. And guess what? You've already paid for that knowledge. Right. It's very low cost to start. You've already done it. Now you just need to monetize it. Okay, here's hoping that a lot of people make some more money in this year, right? I, I hope so, <laughs> and then once they do that, then they can come talk to me. Are you thinking that the economy is going to stay as strong as it, as it did in 2017? Uh, I really do. Look, the unemployment rate is low. Companies are continuing to hire. The tax bill just got passed, so companies are going to have more money to hire more employees. It's going to be great for the stock market. It's going to be great for the economy going to be great for employees. I think all systems are go. All right. Thanks so much, Rob. Rob Wilson of Wilson Inside and regular Money Monday contributor here on PTL. Thank you for being here.